Hi, and welcome to the Water Step Bleach Maker instruction video. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make bleach, test bleach, and use bleach using our Water Step Bleach Maker system. Let's get started. Let's start with the unboxing. When you get your bleach maker, it will come in a red bag like the one in front of me. When you unzip it, the first thing that you'll find is your instruction manual. After that, you'll find a pair of safety glasses. We'll set both of these aside because they're the first things that we're going to be using. After that, you will find a five liter jerry can that has pictorial instructions on the front and back with English text on the sides. You will also find the bleach generator electrode package, or the bleach generator for short. This is what creates the bleach. You'll have one set of measuring cups and spoons, one blue funnel, three one milliliter syringes, one chlorine test kit with two bottles of reagent, and one one liter measuring cup with a line for salt. When making bleach, the first step is to put on our safety glasses. Although the water and salt that we're putting into the jerry can are not dangerous, the bleach that we're creating can be, especially if it gets into your eyes. Step two is to go ahead and unscrew the lid, and we can use our funnel to fill the jerry can halfway with about two and a half liters of water. Once that's done, the next step is to fill our one liter measuring cup to the salt line with about 350 milliliters or 500 grams of salt. We can use the funnel to put that into the jerry can as well. Once we've added our salt and water to the jerry can, we can screw the lid back on and shake vigorously for about three minutes. It's important to shake until all of the salt is dissolved in solution. After finishing shaking, step five is to fill the jerry can the remaining way with another two and a half liters of water until you hit the fill line at the ridge of the jerry can. Once we've filled our jerry can the remaining way with water, we can remove our funnel and screw in our bleach generator. If you purchase the water step power supply, you can pull that over now. If using the power supply, you're going to connect the black lead to the black side of the supply and the red lead to the red side. Today we're going to be using the car battery. When connecting the leads of the bleach generator to the car battery, you're going to connect the black to negative and the red to positive. Once you've connected your bleach generator to your power supply, you're going to listen for bubbles and fizzes to make sure that your bleach generator is working properly. If you do hear the fizzing, Set a timer for 75 minutes. After 75 minutes, we can disconnect our leads from our power supplies and remove the bleach generator. To clean the bleach generator, you can set it in a bucket of water, making sure that all of the holes at the top of the generator are covered. If the bucket isn't deep enough, you can also pour water over the holes. To test the strength of our bleach, we're going to take our one liter measuring cup and fill it to the one liter line with water. We'll 
we'll then take the one milliliter syringe and get one milliliter of bleach from the bleach that we just made. We'll add that to our water and use the syringe to mix it in. Once you've finished mixing, clean out your syringe three times with clean water. We'll then take our chlorine test kit and we'll be using the yellow side. We'll fill it up to the top line with our water. Once that's filled, we'll take our reagent bottle and put one drop into our tester. Replace the cap and invert three times. When that's finished, you'll compare the color of the water to the yellows on the scale. If the yellow is closest to the dark yellow at the top that reads five parts per million or orange, it means that your bleach is strong enough. If it's a lighter yellow, like four below, go ahead and reconnect your bleach generator for another 15 minutes. It likely means that your battery wasn't fully charged at the beginning. If your bleach has tested strong enough, you can store it in the jerry can provided or in any non-drink container clearly labeled bleach. I would keep it away from children and animals and keep it out of direct sunlight. To disinfect medical hazards, don't dilute the bleach. Pour it directly onto the contaminated area and let it sit for 30 minutes. If you plan on using the bleach in and around your home, kitchen, or latrines, dilute it 10 parts of water to one part bleach. For example, Before disinfecting water with bleach, there are a few things you need to know. If the water is cloudy or colored, filter it through cloth. More layers means that it'll come out clearer. If you can't filter it or the water is cold, add double the recommended amount of bleach. To disinfect water with bleach, add 1.5 milliliters of bleach to every one liter of water. In this container, we have two liters, so I'll be adding three milliliters of bleach. All right, mix this, or if you have a container that closes, you can shake it and wait for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're going to use the chlorine test kit to determine the amount of bleach in our water. Using the yellow side, fill it up with the water we just disinfected. We'll then add one drop of reagent. Replace the cap and invert three times. If the water tests between four and two on the yellow scale, that means that the water is safe to drink. If it tests five or higher in the orange range, pour it between two disinfected containers five times and wait two hours, then retest the bleach. If it tests below one or clear, add more bleach and wait another 30 minutes. If it tests below one again, find a new source of water. Now you have all the resources necessary to operate the WaterStep bleach maker. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to contact WaterStep at 1-502-568-6342 and you can access your manual online at waterstep.org slash resources slash manuals. Thank you for helping us save lives with safe water.